All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to install a Tesla wall connector universal full walkthrough tutorial on how to install this level two electric vehicle charger. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hendy the Sparky. I'm an electrician in New Jersey. And today we got a service call. A customer called saying that they want their Tesla wall connector universal charger installed. And here is the property I'm gonna show you guys and here is a little backstory on this job so customer actually had a handyman come and turns out he couldn't do it so and he couldn't even pull a permit so they called out called us out to get a proper installation from a licensed electrician so we came out we gave a price and they accepted and so here we are so i'm here at the property and now we're gonna get started. So you can see the holes already made. And I first start by taking off the panel cover. This is a Square D Homeline 200 amp electrical panel. So I'm using my drill and I have a square tip, a number two square tip on the drill. And you wanna be careful when you take off the panel cover, everybody, because you know, sometimes when you're working live, you don't wanna get zapped. And before I work on the panel, I actually go to the exterior disconnect and turn it off. It is now code in New Jersey, guys, for uh, any 200 amp service upgrades, you need to install a 200 amp exterior disconnect. So comment down below what is the jurisdiction like in your state, but that's what's now in New Jersey. So I am now fishing my 6.2 Romex wire in the walls. The customer didn't have a finished or a drywall in his garage. So I'm actually fishing the Romex in the wall. I drilled into the studs and you can see I'm actually, I had to get up onto his garage over over top because it is finished where his bedroom is but this is like a partially finished garage slash bedroom and here's a three quarter inch romex connector how i put my wire into the electrical panel is by oh i'm just playing around actually with the ring pretending like it's thanos how i actually get the three quarter inch connector in this finished panel is i actually go over top and i sleeve the wire down with the connector on so it kind of looks funny right here, but this is actually how it looks like when the wire gets fished with one person. And the connector is already on, and I am now tightening the three-quarter inch Romex connector with my flathead screwdriver. I'm shortly going to start, yes, I'm going to use my linemans. You know, this is the classic tightening the lock ring, right? So if you're seriously thinking about becoming an electrician and you got heavy cable like this, this is a 6-2 wire for an EV charger. Don't use diagonal cutters. Use this, your wrists are gonna go out in like a couple years and you won't be able to do any work. And we're not in this game for the short game, we're in it for the long game. You should use this. Just like that. Everything's going AI, everything's going electric. Let's get that cha-ching. All right, guys, that was just a quick little tip. Um, I posted that actually on Instagram. If you guys want to follow me at Hendy the Sparky. And now we're back at it. So here, guys, I am now stripping the Romex wire. And I use my razor knife to get the jacket off. And in this wire, guys, there is one black hot wire, um, one white neutral wire, and one ground wire. However, since this is a 240-volt EV charger, that white wire that's supposed to be in neutral we're going to tape it black and we're going to put it on a 240 volt double pole circuit breaker and right now i'm actually stripping the wires i landed the copper ground on the ground bar and we are now we just taped the white wire black and i'm now unscrewing the terminals on the screwdriver or no on the circuit breaker my bad and i am now landing in the circuit breaker just like that and you want to make sure wires are nice and neat because we're electricians guys you know we want to make sure our game is a1 and i am now putting back the panel cover on as we are done with this panel how's it going oh you're good scare oh, me hello oh, okay. it's all right yeah all good everything's done uh no i uh just gotta put the charger on but i got your i had to turn the power off because to get the line in like the it's panel okay. on the top but um, 
Yeah, it was like a little tricky in the back here. But uh, we got it going. We're good. Oh, cool. Yeah, man. Even better. Yep. All right, so that was just a little customer interaction. He really liked the work. And now here is a three quarter inch Romex connector again. So this is going now into the Tesla charger. We have all the wire guys ran in the garage. So this is the final step is installing the Tesla charger. And I'm gonna show you guys how to install this charger. So right now you wanna get the wire in, put your connector in, and you wanna make sure you get this thing mounted properly. And I had a wooden back plate actually on the back of the charger. You can't see it because it's inside the garage. I screwed in three screws and here's the wiring everybody. You can see you want to curled up just like that. And that's exactly how you want to do the wiring. And just right there, I am now putting on the shell. And every Tesla wall connector has four security screws, two on the top and two on the bottom. So you wanna make sure you have a quarter inch nut driver and you use the Tesla supply bit. And it's a security bit. So to make sure that nobody can just randomly unscrew the shell off. And guys, we are just finished everybody. Do a little flex for the celebration. And now we are about to just wrap the cord around the charger holster. This cord just wraps around the unit just like this and boom you can plug it the charger right in the side and it looks clean as a whistle everybody so here's a recap of what we've done so we got our 6-2 romex wire in the wall and drilled through the studs and here is the electrical panel everybody we have our 50 amp circuit breaker installed right here i'm actually pointing at it right now and guys it is finished and we are lastly just about to commission the ev charger and once you commission it since we did a 50 amp circuit breaker we commissioned it to 48 40 amps continuous amps because it has to be 80 percent whatever the circuit breaker is i'm putting my tools away and guys yeah that's pretty much it that is what electric vehicle charger tesla wall connector universal installation looks like peace